Hi guys, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm gonna wrap up the 2021 Mr. Olympia Men's Open Bodybuilding. The general consensus of pre-judging, for me at least, was that overall the conditioning was quite poor. This seems to be a reoccurring trend, reiterated by Lee Haney, when he said that the athletes seem to have a film of water hiding their muscularity. It seems to be a reoccurring trend, quite unimpressive to say the least. Hanny for the second year running was the most conditioned guy on the stage. That's the conditioning that all of these athletes need to have at the very least in my opinion. The eyes are, uh, are drawn to conditioning. You can see more, there's more going on and you just uh, are drawn to that naturally, irrespective of the size. And of course it's a size game, it counts for a lot. Um, but for me personally, I can't take my eyes off of Haddy when he shows so much more detail than the other two. I will say that Brandon Curry made some improvements over last year, I think. Definitely in, in the conditioning department, in the upper body, a lot more separation between the delts, in the arms, buys and tries, uh, some nice striations in the pecs. So definitely an improved version, I would say. Um, but overall, fairly lacklustre. Big Ramy, not as good as, as last year for sure. Um, I just think it's going to be hard to top him because of the size and the fact that he's current Mr. Olympia, as I said in the pre-judging. So just a quick uh, kind of uh, selection of video clips here to show the first three call-outs, then I'll analyse the later call-outs in a bit more depth. So quite impressed with Hunter. I think it looked really good. Edges out Nick Walker on some of these shots. Um, really good back double bicep shot. I think Nick Walker takes a back double though for sure. Latch bread Hunter, I would say. Looks very impressive, as does he on the side tricep. Looks great. And I mean, look at the vascularity in his upper body. You can actually see stuff going on, which a lot of these athletes don't have. It just looks so smooth. Absent fires um, for me, Nick Walker for sure. Most muscular. William Bonac looks great with his round muscles. And uh, Neil Walker, I would say. So that was the second call out. Moving on to the third call out now. Rowley was a real disappointment. Bloated, watery. Um, I and mean, the condition of these guys is just nowhere near where it needs to be. The condition is not as good as you'd see uh, in an elite natural bodybuilder. And these guys are only the big bucks. They're meant to be the best in the world and people say, well, yeah, it's more complicated. There's a lot more to juggle to get in a shape when you're carrying that much more muscle mass. You know, maybe that's true. It more than likely is. But, you know, at the end of the day, these are the best bodybuilders on earth. They need to bring that conditioning irrespective of the drugs that they're using. Um, so for me, quite disappointing. So this is the uh, guys uh, at the rear the last call out for me, um, Patrick Moore looks fantastic. Really, really good physique. So much more detail. You can see so much more going on, but unfortunately lacks the size to compete with with these guys. Okay, so this is the uh, top four. Hunter actually moves up into the top four call out over Nick Walker. I would have liked to have seen Nick Walker pulled up with those and had the five of them on stage, to be honest. I think it was a little unfair, perhaps, that that didn't happen. I mean, to me, it looked very tight between Hunter and Nick Walker. I think, you know, it was kind of 50-50. Um, but, you know, as it stands, it's just those top four to be compared. Um, and I would say, for me, um, Hattie looks just so impressive. Very, very sharp. Rami just fades really, he's just not quite as sharp as he should be. I mean, he almost looks like a different species in terms of his size, that's how big he is. Does look great from the side tricep, I'll give him that, but as does Hunter. Had he holds the side tricep a little bit wonky. Personally, I think he'd look a lot better if he didn't twist his torso as much. Abs and fire, the eyes are definitely drawn to Had he looks superb with the conditioning, and most muscular too, there's just a lot more going on. Great shape from Hunter. Brandon Curry looks great in the upper body. A lot of chest striations. There's a lot more going on than there was last year in terms of conditioning. No striations from Rami. Just kind of fades away. It's just the size that he's got on the structure is quite good. But 
it's all kind of smoothed out. So these are spots five through to 10. Um, and we've got uh, Nick Walker in the middle with Bonac in on the right. Um, and overall, I would say I, I was mostly impressed with uh, Nick Walker. Bonac's obviously got a great shape, not quite as conditioning, conditioned as we'd seen him before. I would have really liked Nick Walker to have a chance to compare himself to the top four directly. Um, I think he's definitely above the likes of Ian. As good as Ian is on some shots, I think overall just lacks the kind of uh, powerful look that Nick brings to the stage. And his calf development, unfortunately for me, is um, off-putting. It ruins the balance of his physique. Um, you know, Bonac on the most muscular looks incredible. Really good. It's just a shame we didn't get to see um, Nick or perhaps even Bonac compared against those top four. I'd like to go more in depth into what I think about men's open at the moment, what's good and what's not. Um, we're going to keep this video brief though, so I'll do that on a separate video. Stay tuned for that. So we'll get into the uh, results now. So this is the top five here. Nick Walker actually pips William Bonac into that top five. Now, if I was a betting man, I would say Rami to take the win. He's just too big. He's already champion irrespective of what I think personally about his physique. I'm not really that keen on it. Um, but I just think he's just too big. Brandon Curry made some good improvements, especially in the upper body, I would say, in terms of conditioning, uh, but not quite enough. Very impressed with Haddy, but I think the shovels will mark him down. So Nick Walker in fifth. Fantastic debut. Got to be, uh, Got to be pleased with that. Okay, so fourth position, Hunter, well deserved, did very well, some really good solid shots, a very powerful looking physique, especially impressive on the side tricep, back lat spread for me, personally, yeah, very impressed, just needs to work on um, a bit of stomach control, looks a bit smooth on some of the shots. Third place now, Haddy. I thought was much. I mean, the leanest guy on the stage for two years running now. He's set the precedent as to what the other athletes need to reach in terms of condition. I really like his physique. I think it's incredibly well balanced. I think possibly he might have got marked down because of the shoulders. Um, I, I say the physique's well balanced, but for the shoulders um, on the side delts. Otherwise, look fantastic. Very impressed. Personally, probably my favourite out of those top guys. Okay, so for the top spot, Brandon versus Rami. And it's Rami takes the second Olympia two consecutive years now. Overall, he got better as the show went on for sure. Don't think he quite reached the heights of last year in terms of conditioning, but still carries too much muscle mass for any of the other athletes to overpower him, despite the improvements made by Brown and Curry and had his fantastic conditioning again, just wasn't quite enough. I think possibly there's a, a very good chance of Nick Walker or maybe even Hunter taking that top spot in the next few years, though, so we'll have to wait and see. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay strong.